The cells of many tissues are joined together by intercellular junctions that are located between the adjacent cells. Most types of epithelium and some types of muscular and nervous tissue contain intercellular junctions. There are five types of intercellular junctions. Tight junctions, adherence junctions, desmosomes, hemidesmosomes, gap junctions. The tight junction is an area where the plasma membranes of adjacent cells are fused together. These junctions protect underlying tissues from harmful substances by restricting the movement of substances, like hydrochloric acid, in the spaces between cells. Tight junctions are found in tissues lining the surface of organs and body cavities, such as the stomach, intestines, and urinary bladder. Adherence junctions are created when transmembrane proteins, anchored to a dense plaque of proteins inside the cell, connect the adjacent cell membranes together. Additionally, microfilaments extend from the plaque into the cytosol of each cell. The dense adhesion belts help resist separation of epithelial tissues. The desmosome is similar in structure to the adherence junction except that intermediate filaments extend into the cytosol of each cell. These junctions help provide stability to tissues and are abundantly found in the epidermis of the skin and between the muscle cells of the heart. The hemidesmosome, or half-desmosome, provides strong attachments between cells and other extracellular materials, such as the basement membrane of epithelial tissues. Hemidesmosomes are most abundant in tissues that undergo constant frictional or abrasive forces. The gap junction is an open communication channel. Transmembrane proteins, called connexons, join together to create tiny tunnels that form gaps between the adjacent membranes. Gap junctions allow ions and other small molecules to pass freely from one cell to another. Gap junctions also allow electrical impulses to pass rapidly from one cell to another. Gap junctions are particularly abundant in some types of muscle tissue. 